So you want to learn how to make 8D audio and how to actually export it in Audio Edition so you can actually put it onto YouTube. So today I am going to go for that with you today. And yeah, uh, we're going to learn how to do that. So that's coming right now. Hi there guys, my name is Azuraj, but hope you guys are doing okay today. So today we're going to learn how we're going to export 8D audio from Adobe Edition. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that because on this channel, we're not just going to be learning how you can obviously do audio as well. You got to learn how you can uh, actually make a better videos, how you can obviously, um, you know, use equipment, um, how you can do your lighting as well. Um, so there's a lot to learn and I will be doing this step by step for you. What I have learned myself. For you guys who don't know me, I am AD Geats. I have another channel where I make AD audio. And on that channel, I have made over 300,000 subscribers also. 75 million views so um i've tested the system obviously i've learned a lot as well doing by doing this and um, i have other channels as well um, but this is by far obviously one of my most successful ones and i will be teaching you exactly what you need to do and it doesn't matter if it's an ad channel it doesn't matter whatever niche you're doing it doesn't matter if you are a, a vlogger it doesn't matter if you want to um, teach people how to solve for example i don't know i'm just making this up i'm going along it doesn't really matter whatever your passion is and whatever you are actually doing you can actually do this so Obviously, I will be teaching all these things in the future. Let's get started. Hey, buddy. So welcome to this tutorial. Um, so today we're going to learn how we are actually going to be exporting the songs on Adobe Audition. It is a very simple process. Now, I have made a video already on how to make AD audio. So you haven't checked that out. Make sure you check that out first before you watch this one. I will leave a card on the top somewhere where you can obviously click on that. And then you can or tap on that if you're using a mobile phone. And then you can obviously go into that video and watch how to make the AD audio. Okay, so moving forward, this is the song, exactly the same one, the same settings that we had on the very first video. And um, the reason why I left this video separately is because I'm going to go into detail and um, the settings and everything else. So make sure that, you know, you can make the video short as I can, but obviously also informative and the best I can make them for you. Okay, so obviously that's the same song. Now, how are we going to be obviously exporting this? Now, on this side here, you can see these effects, which I explained in my previous video. This is for the vocal boost and also the bass boost that will give you, you know, that really nice effect. So we need to apply this first before we export it. So just click that, apply. That, let that do its thing. Once that's done, um, just simply go on to File, and then on here you'll see Export, and then you'll see File again. Now you can use a shortcut key if you like, which is Control Shift E. But um, for the sake of this video, I will obviously show you manually how you can go to the menu and do it. Okay, so if you click on this now, on here we have some options. I will go through this with you now. So that's the file name. I'm gonna leave that the same for the sake of this video again. And um, location, obviously, you just choose whichever file you want to put it in. And uh, also the format, I'm gonna leave that at MP3 because that's all we need. And um, now the sim the sample type here, this is what you need to look at here. Make sure that it's the same as the source. The channels is 5.1 and the bit depth is 32. And uh, the advanced section, I'll show you that as well. This, just leave that disabled. You don't need to do anything with that at all because that's got, you know, you just don't need to, to touch that at all. So I'll just cancel that for now. And also, if you look on here, it says format settings on here. So if you look at that now on here, you need to set the highest quality because we want to make sure that the sound is really nice, crisp and clear. And once you've done that, you will see on the bottom is estimated file size, which is 5.78. Um, it's quite a, a large file size for an MP3, but and then again, um, obviously because we applied effects to it, that's the reason why it's at 5.78 MB. And then once you have obviously sorted all this out to your liking, then press OK. And then just wait for this message. Now you will get this message here all the time, doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you compress an MP3, whether if you're going to be doing um, you know your voice as well just click yes because uh, that's just basically saying that you know it's a good job it's a good idea to make a backup of you know the one that you have already so we don't need to worry about that so just click yes let the file well, export and there you go it's all done so when you export you simply open it up in and from wherever you have saved it and um, listen to it and obviously now, this is a very important tip here, is that when you do put this into your editing software, just make sure that when you export that file, whether if it's at 720p, which is very unlikely, 
Um, but for the sake of the video, some people might start with 720. I don't know, depending on obviously which software they use or what system they're using. Um, but if even if it's 1080p or 4K, whatever, just make sure that the sound is on the um the 48,000 HZ. You always get this option whenever you are exporting your video. So just make sure that's on there. And uh, that's it really. Simple as that. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I will be making some more videos very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, my name is Ozzy Rajput. And um, so see you guys soon. Okay, guys. So that's all it for today. Um, I hope you've learned this now. Um, and that's how easy it is to basically export audio. And um, obviously you can do it on Adobe Edition. You can do it on other softwares as well. Um, but me personally, I believe that Adobe Edition is the best one for me. Because um, it is proven tested from me, obviously. If you do know my channel ID, so that's what I've done there as well. So yeah, that's it really for today. I will be making some more videos. And if you haven't checked out my channel already, I will leave a video here somewhere. Where you can have a look how to actually make the 8D audio. That's on my previous video. So guys, till next time, my name is Ozzy Rashwood. I shall see you guys later. Take care. Bye.